Hey, welcome to Flying Wheels and my Flying Wheels YouTube channel. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. That guy is named Jeremy. That is a former uh, associate of mine that was a real asset to my business. Really, really helpful. And I'm sad to say this guy no longer helps me. We no longer work together. We are no longer associated. And we still have a great relationship as far as I know. And I'm really, really bummed that one of my favorite people I don't get to see on a regular basis anymore. And today's video is all about why German quit. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Let's get going. So hey everyone, welcome to Flying Wheels and my Flying Wheels YouTube channel. I've been making these videos for a long time and one of the assets in my business is this guy. German, notice I'm wearing a shirt. German is one of my favorite people, super, super spiritual man, and some of the best conversations I've ever had and the deepest conversations I've ever had is with German. He and I are both very spiritual and we believe things happen for a reason, and I also believe this happened for a reason, and to be honest with you, I feel okay about it. German, one of my favorite people, has officially left. He is no longer helping out here anymore. And if you've been watching my videos, you know how great German is. German needs a raise, and German blow up, German needs this, and Craig doesn't do that for German. German, I'll say, German did fine. German's good. German is so good that he doesn't need to help here. German is so good that he doesn't even need to be here anymore. So that is me shooting myself in the foot, I think. All right, let's get down to brass tacks, and I'm going to tell you why this guy no longer is affiliated with Flying Wheels. German and I have been doing things together for a long time, and we have a great relationship, and like I said, we have great, great conversations, and I consider him one of my closest friends because we see each other on such a regular basis, and we know our lifestyles, and we know our lives, and honestly, we use each other to vent. I know when he has a problem without him even saying he has a problem, and I am so hot and cold all the time that he knows what to say when I needed it. Now, in my previous video, it was why why my business is failing. And I spoke about German just a little bit. And honestly, I my business isn't failing because German isn't here. It has nothing to do with that. Although I definitely, definitely miss him and I could definitely, definitely use him. And I'm definitely, definitely going to try to replace him. So if you guys are out there and you think you're as skilled or qualified as German, hit me up on my website because I I'm interested, all right? I could use somebody to help out around here or potentially even run my shop for me. Like, I need a manager to run the inside of my shop for the day-to-days because I'm far too busy. Now, I am not gonna say anything personal about German and I'm not gonna say anything targeting him. So if you think that's what this video is about, it's not. We're in a good relationship and I would never say anything bad about German. Now, German and I worked really, really hard for the past few years. And in the last video, I explained it like a water faucet. That water faucet is turned on full blast and that water is just pouring and pouring and pouring out with people's money, other people's money, OPM. And a while ago I said, German, we gotta hustle, we gotta work hard, we gotta get this money. While that faucet is on, we gotta collect as much as we can. Well, we did, and we did really, really well. And I also told him, like, German, don't spend it all. You can't go out and just keep spending money. You don't know when that faucet's gonna get turned off. You gotta save it. And I assume he did. But about a year ago, I noticed a decline in just like, I don't know, all around. Just everything was off just a little bit that you can kind of feel it. And I don't know what it was, and I just, it didn't click. Now, we always talked about this place as like a team atmosphere. I'm the coach, and he's the captain, and we have our players, and we need to all pass the ball. Like, the coach needs to have the plan to the captain, and the captain makes sure everyone's passing the ball correctly, so you can, in the end, get your layup or score, get your three points, and then you're good, right? Well, it's so hard to find employees that German and I are working significantly harder than we ever have to make things happen. And I talked about that in the previous video. And when you are trying to make up for the lack of others, he is part of that too, we're making up for the lack of others. It's exhausting. You can only do so much before you get really, really tired. And eventually you just, you've had enough. And I saw it over a year ago, I noticed that his momentum was different and his attitude was kind of just didn't care as much. And you can feel it. You can just feel it in people. Almost like when you know somebody's gonna break up or if your relationship isn't good before you have that discussion, you can kind of feel it. I felt it and I, I kind of knew, but I didn't want it to end because I like having him around and we've had discussions about how we can change things and we've tried it's almost like a, a couples therapy or marriage counseling because we were so close. But towards the end, I kind of just noticed that he was running through the motions. Like there wasn't anything exciting here anymore. And he said it too, like, Craig, where are those Camaros? Where are those Corvettes you used to buy? What about a Mustang? Like, what about all that fun stuff we used to have? And to be honest with you, we haven't been doing as much of that stuff. Why? Because I'm not gonna pay double what a Corvette's real value is just because they're so overpriced right now. Mustangs, Camaros, Corvettes, Challengers, Hellcat. 
Forget it. I want a Hellcat. I want to buy a Challenger. I want to buy a Shelby. I'm not going to overspend on something that used to be 20 three years ago and it's now 30 three years later. It doesn't make sense. I'm not going to do it. So there goes like the glitz and the glamour of the stuff we really used to enjoy buying, like fairly inexpensive, reasonably priced and reasonably affordable vehicles. They're not there anymore. So I'm focusing on what sells like Suburbans and Yukons and pickup trucks and Acuras. And I just can't go out and buy the things that make you have fun all the time. We have to focus on what sells. Like sometimes Jeeps sell, sometimes trucks sell, sometimes minivans sell. It's all seasonal and you got to focus on what is selling, not just what you want to do. Like Joe Dirt said, it's not about you. It's about the consumer. Now, German is a really, really hard worker and he's been working hard his entire life and he has children and he has a family and his life, you know, is here. Like he, we see each other all the time and we spend the majority of our time together and then we have our after hours with our family or a days off with our family. And you know, honestly, priority number one for the two of us has been this place. And don't get me wrong, I don't want anyone thinking like, oh, Craig, you should have just paid him more. It has zero to do with money. Probably opposite, I'm thinking. It's probably opposite of not enough money. Now, as an employer, you wanna keep everybody on a level where they're happy, but they're not too happy. Like, if I'm overpaying people, then they start to get overconfident and cocky and think they're not replaceable. As an employer, you want everyone to know they are replaceable, and you wanna pay them enough that they're happy, but not too much, and you know, you gotta find that real fine line that people know they're really valuable and an asset, but they don't get too overconfident and take it out on you as an employer, where you start to see a lack of enthusiasm. I'm not saying that's what happened with German. I'm just giving advice for business owners. Now, one of my favorite things about German, and like I said, I don't wanna say personal things about him. I, it's his business and I don't wanna spread his business to other people, but German is a free spirit. I mean, that guy, he's a cool, cool dude, and that's why I reached out to him at the very beginning and said, dude, we gotta do stuff together. Together. People love you. I love you. Let's do some things. I think we could really flow and we did for a long long time But like I said over time I started to just see it kind of decline really really slowly and it was personality It was like emotional. It was uh um, like motivational at work with doing things. Everything's good, but there was just that spark wasn't there and I could see it. Now, one of my favorite things about German who goes against me is that he can shut off. I can't shut off. My phone is on all the time. I'm always thinking about work. I wake up to work. I go to bed to work. It is not healthy. One of my favorite things about German is that he can just shut it off and it's amazing. So we end on Saturday. I don't talk until Tuesday. If I call him, he doesn't answer. If I text him, he might or might not respond. Now, like I said, it drives me nuts because I need to get a hold of him. Hey, I got a question for you. I need to find something out. He's off work. He can just shut it down and it's amazing. And when he's off, he might want to go to Philly today. He might want to go to New York tomorrow. He might want to go to he might want to go to Rhode Island the day after. He, whatever he does, he does, which is incredible. Like he is ready to go at a split decision, very impulsive and and if he wants to, he just does it and there's no stopping him, which is really really one of my favorite things about him. Nothing ties him down, I love that. The problem is, going against me once again, just like he doesn't have to answer his phone because he can shut it off, is you know what? He just had enough. What do I mean by that? Well, this is what happened. He went on vacation, he took two and a half weeks to go travel, do things, didn't even tell people where he was going. He did some stuff, he hung out, he went around, he had breakfast with his son, he went and saw his grandkids, he went and saw his daughters, and you know, whatever. He went and enjoyed himself and he just, you know, like slowed life down, which I'm so envious about is, which is what I want to do. He slowed life down and really enjoyed his time off. And the day he got back, I just saw it. It was like when you know your girlfriend's breaking up with you. I saw it in his eyes and he said, Craig, we need to talk. I'm sorry, but I'm done. I want some time to myself. I'm getting older. I want to chill out and relax and I just want to do nothing. I'm like, all right. Okay, I'm not mad. Can you please elaborate? What do you mean? As I had said, German spiritual. I am a spiritual person myself. And I said, what are you going to do for money? Like, what are you going to do? And he goes, the world will provide for me. We'll figure it out. It always works out somehow, which is admirable. I don't have that in me. I am like 100 miles an hour all the time. What's next? How am I going to afford this? What do we need to do? And I think that's why it worked so well. He's the yin to my yang or vice versa. We just flowed well. He saw me, I saw him, and we counter against each other or pushed against each other to keep each other in place which was really good but he went on the spiritual journey for two weeks and came back and just realized that this isn't where he wanted to be anymore and it was time for the next step and I am not one to argue with that he is you know he's a person and we live one life we have one life uh, and you got to do whatever if he wants six months if he wants a year if he wants 
five years, like you got to do you. You got to focus on number one. So, and when number one's focused on, you can spread the rest to everyone else. Now, here's the positive of it. And like I said, he's spiritual, I'm spiritual, and I can see the light. Like something happens for a reason. If I fall and break my leg, it's because I wasn't meant to go running in that race that had a tragedy in it. Now, that is a terrible, terrible example. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have used that. But things happen for a reason. And if you've ever seen that Mel Gibson movie, Signs, like that is the most, oh, it's named Signs, actually. I don't think I've ever thought of that. I thought it was about the... Holy moly. I thought it was about the crop signs, but I think it's about the signs. Like the sun couldn't breathe and that way he couldn't inhale the alien. Th I'm not going to give away the endings. Never mind. That's neither here nor there. But life happens. Like I just did a video on how my business is failing and how I need to slow down and how I've, I've overstretched myself and overexerted myself. And I'm not focusing on the important things because I'm focusing on like growing. Well, where's the end? What's the end result? I don't know. And by our hour and a half long conversation that he and I had that was deep, I realized, oh my God, this is a sign from me. This isn't even about German. It's German's about German. And the world is telling me I've taken on too much as well. I need to slow down. I, I can't keep doing what I'm doing and maintaining this type of momentum. And I'm stressed and I'm overworked and I'm tired and I'm even moody and cranky to my family sometimes that doesn't deserve it. So by German telling me he wants to slow down is forcing me, forcing me to slow everything down. I physically can't do it all. So I have to slow the business down, which is why I went on by appointment hours only, which is why I'm focusing on selling wholesale to other dealers instead of more retail because it's easier work for me yes it's less money but honestly how much money do you need how much when is it enough and the other thing is like I love making YouTube videos I love focusing on this stuff I love making content I love the problems that come up I love the great things that come up and I love like the interaction with you guys so I'm now going to do what I want to do which is create better cleaner more concise content on a regular scheduled basis it is going to take a huge pay cut out of my pocket though so selling wholesale like just for example this honda ridge line i sold it tonight i'm working here by myself and i'm going to make sure this gets done for a three thousand dollar profit that's incredible like i'll make three thousand dollars on that car now why do i have to sell 10 of those in a week or even five of those in a week why can't i just sell two cars like that in a week or three or four cars wholesale that i don't have to shake hands or sell or answer phone calls to like maybe it is time to slow down and only time will tell. I really I really don't know, but I'm taking it as an opportunity to slow my entire life down and focus on what's really important. And to be honest with you, German is probably gonna watch this. We're in a great relationship and he's gonna pop in and out in these videos and he's gonna help me with projects when I have projects still. And I thank him for showing me like a level of slowdown. I think it's really cool and he will be greatly greatly missed so he's gonna be reading these and he'll definitely be reading the comments so if you guys have anything you want to say to German advice or things you want to see from him at the shop ideas of how to get him back here what you want to see him do when he is here let him know in the comments and guess what I'm gonna be hiring soon so come like the next few months I'm gonna start hiring if you're interested in the New England area I live in New Hampshire shops in New Hampshire Massachusetts line main line if you guys are interested in filling German's role hit me up on my website with the links in the description down below otherwise on to the next adventure in our life we'll see you guys all later have a great day adios